It has now emerged that the driver of the ill-fated Matatu that ran over a landmine in Mandera on Monday failed to heed to instructions by security officers manning a roadblock along the Arabia Mandera Road to stop. The vehicle was blown with seven fatalities and 13 casualties reported. Survivors have recounted their ordeal as leaders in the region called for speedy investigations into the incident. Safina Cheng Oma has that report. Tension remains high in Mandela County hours after an explosion claimed the lives of seven people in Hagarso area along the Arabia Mandela Highway. Abdi Ibrahim is among the 13 people who escaped death by a whisker but were left nursing injuries after a vehicle they were traveling in ran over an improvised explosive device about 10 kilometers from Mandela town. <laughs> Before the explosions, security officers who were on the road tried to stop us, but we didn't stop. I had a loud explosion. The next thing I found myself at the hospital, and actually, I can't explain what happened. The motive behind the attack remains a mystery, even as officers from the anti-terror police unit and other multi-agency security personnel continue to comb the area seeking answers. One suspect was found at the scene of the attack, has maintained that he is innocent, but is currently in police custody for further interrogation. I was not involved in the attack. I was just hiding Keto in the bush. God is my witness. I don't know who dug this hole. Leaders in the region have condemned the heinous attack and are calling on relevant authorities to beef up security in the area which has borne the brunt of increased terror attacks. We are appealing to the government of Kenya to come up with strategies on issues of this IED. Indeed, they should think of coming up with a technical way of handling these IEDs, detectors that can be able to detect uh, IEDs. We are requesting, or rather asking the President of the Republic of Kenya to invoke his powers to ensure Kenya Defense Forces safeguard the territorial integrity of this nation. We are also asking the government to ensure that this road is completed because if there is stomach on this road, this incident will reduce. Those who sustained injuries continue to receive treatment in different hospitals across Mandela County. For Prime Edition, I'm Safin Aching Oma.